It's time to sound design, baby. What is going on, Rocket Powered Sound Designers? Welcome to the best channel on YouTube for Serum Tutorials. Now, have you guys ever wondered how to make a gun sound like this? <laughs> Okay, not like that, but more like Code Pandorum, like this. Those heavy ass dubstep dirty basses, and they are so fire. Now in today's video, we're gonna be going through how to make that, and it's super simple, and we got a couple sound design techniques for you to learn. Now, if you guys are new here and you're not already subscribed, then what are you doing? We're putting out Serum Tutorials every single day. Yes, a daily Serum Tutorial channel. The only one on YouTube that's doing that. And on top of that, we got the best Serum Tutorials on YouTube. So if you're not subscribed, what are you doing? <laughs> you're missing out on daily uploads, baby. Let's go. Anyways, enough with that. Let's go ahead and start off by our waveform. Now, if we listen to any Dirty Dubstep song, in general, we got some grimy waveforms, some uh, very thick, heavy, dirty waveforms. And Monster One is gonna be hitting our criteria perfectly for that. Now, we're gonna be starting our modulation process with LFO number one, Uno. And here, we're just going to be putting it on trigger and putting, creating like a drum style sound. Now, we're going to have to apply it to something so we can actually get some movement here. So why don't we start off by modulating the level. Okay, that's pretty cool. But it needs a little bit more movement. We can go ahead and add a little bit movement by putting it on the wavetail position. Modulating it up ever so slightly. I'm gonna put the rate at 1 16th. And please keep in mind, I am in a different BPM than you probably. I'm on at 102 BPM, so um, 1 16th is what's working for this particular um, tempo. So keep that in mind. Now, it starts to get a little bit interesting. Let's go into the effects section. Now the effects section is really when things start to get fun here. We're gonna start ourselves off by sticking on a distortion and immediately we're gonna move from tube, which sounds like complete garbage, to our X shaper. Now our X shaper, oh, I already have something in our, in our shape itself, um, but our X shaper gives us the, um, the ability to actually change the way the distortion is working. For example, we have tube distortion, which basically just looks like our uh, typical square waveform. And then we have soft clip, which is a smoother square. And then for an example, we have, let's put on our sine fold. And it looks like a series of sine waveforms. Um, you know what, actually it looks like triangle waveforms that are all compressed up into the middle there. Now, it is a sine waveform though. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the X shaper is gonna give us the ability to actually choose the uh, the waveform that our distortion is gonna be running through here. So what I ended up doing for the sound is I was just kind of playing around here, kind of choosing what works just by playing around. And I came across a nice little structure that works like this. Now, I really like using this form of distortion on the X shaper here, because you guys get to control 100% of the way the distortion is outputted. Now, for an example, um, we can have edit A, I had this on edit B, so the drive is turned up 100% and it sounds like this, but we're on 0% and there's just about no change. Now, if I wanted to, for an example, like change that up, I can go ahead and make the process go like this. So now on 0% drive, we're now starting with this shape. And on 100%, we are now finished with this shape. And we can go ahead and find a nice cross between, which I think is around 80%. Now that's completely up to you guys. Have fun with your distortion here. 
Um, let me know if you want me to do a more in-depth tutorial on this because um, I definitely am just kind of skipping over this pretty lightly because, you know, just for tutorial's sake. Uh, let's continue with the tutorial here. Now, this is, I think this may be the third tutorial, base tutorial in a row that I'm using the combs filter, but cut me some slack here because uh, the combs filter is just about pretty much necessary when you're making any kind of machine gun bases here. Um, after this, I'm going to cool it down quite a bit. Don't you worry. Um, now the combs filter, I went ahead and I jumped on that macro one onto the cutoff. And that's going to basically allow us to modulate or change uh, the overall tail of the sound, the way it's coming out. Now, at the weight that the resonance is set at right now, we're not going to be able to really tell any difference. So let's go ahead and turn on the resonance. Right away, you can hear, bam, this is sounding like a gun now. Just like our, our, <laughs> our target, Code Pandorum. That sounded pretty good if you ask me. Now we're going to go ahead and put on our multiband compressor. We could just go ahead and turn on compressor and then select multiband. Turn up the gain a tad bit. Whoa, all right. Perfect. Multiband taking out all those frequencies that are kind of lacking. And then boom, it's compensating for that by turning up the gain on those bands. Finally, we're going to finish her off with a little bit of hyper here. Now my little trick. I keep saying little, I don't know. Everything's not little in the sound. It's big, we're talking big money at Rocket Powered Sound. <laughs> um, we're gonna turn up the mix to 100% so we can kind of find the best tone. Okay, definitely not at four unison. We're gonna turn it down to two. It's a little bit less intense, that's sounding good. Turn on the rate altogether. That's a pretty good tone right there. You guys hear the stereo difference? That it makes is pretty fat now. Of course, we could finish her off with a little bit of Dimension Expander. So, and that's literally how we finish off this sound. See how simple that was? but it's super effective and that's kind of what we're going for in rocky powered sound sound design isn't always as complex as you as you think it is you know it is what you make it you can make some really amazing sounds just with a couple effects for example we really only need the distortion and the filter the compressor and the hyper and dimension are really just there to give it a little bit more volume and to um, just kind of enhance the sound but other than that you know we can play around with different waveforms make our own machine gun bases, but it's completely up to you what you guys decide to do with the sound. Now, without further ado, I really hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like, let me know what you think, and if you're not already subscribed, you already know what to do, you gotta click that subscribe button. Alright, well, without further ado, my name is Shane from Rocket Powered Sound, and I will catch you guys in the next serum tutorial.